Hi friends, so I wanted to show you how you can fill out this informational text story time template, which you'll have in your work this week on Seesaw. So step one would be to choose a story from the story time slideshow. But as an example, I'm going to choose a regular book from Epic. If you haven't used Epic yet, it's super duper fun. It's the same app that we have in class. If you need your login information, I sent an email to your parents. So ask them to check their email, but if they can't find the code, it's okay. Just tell them to send me a message on Class Dojo and I'll resend the code to them to whichever email they want. So here I am on Epic and you can see that you can choose books by topics. Um, there's lots of cool nonfiction text or informational textbooks for science and arts. There's a lot of cool things for other things that you might be interested in, so many different topics. But for today, I think I'm going to choose something from the animals and their habitats. I really do like animals, let me see. Oh, cool, and you can even sort by fiction, nonfiction, because there could be both, so I could choose that. And if you want, you can even sort by your reading level. So if you know what your reading level is, or you're not sure what your reading level is, go ahead and send me a message and I'll let you know, so I can help you pick out a book that's close to your level. Now let me see, hmm, I see a few options. I'm gonna click show more. Let me see what other books we have. So, ooh, hedgehogs are cute. I could pick that. Ants, ants are pretty awesome. Hmm, what book do I wanna pick? Ooh, that little bat is so cute. Squeak, squeak, I love bats. What am I gonna pick? Ooh, beavers, that could be awesome. Ooh, that sloth looks cool too. Um, I'm gonna go with, oh my goodness, this penguin is so cute. Look at that baby penguin. Okay, even though this is level K, which, might be a little bit hard for some of you. It has this read to me button. So that could be a good choice because even if I can't read all the words, um, the program can help read the rest of the book to me. Okay, so I think I'm gonna pick this book. Yeah, this book looks pretty awesome. And it has this cute little baby penguin on the front cover. Oh my goodness, macaroni penguins. So awesome. All right, so let me turn off the reader for now. So I wanted to show you some cool things, some features of nonfiction text. And I know you already learned a lot about nonfiction text already or informational text for if you watch the video that Ms. Law from GCS1 put together. That was a cool video. All right, so let me check out these penguins here. You may notice that when you read informational text, you'll see writing that's in really big letters towards the top of certain pages. What those things are, are they're called headers. So if you see big writing like this, the header is supposed to indicate what a particular section of the book is about. So this head over here says what's for dinner. And that means that this section over here is talking about basically what penguins eat. That's what it's really trying to tell us. If we look over here, life on land, it's talking about how penguins can live on land. And over here, a chick is born. This section is talking about baby penguins. Oh, it's so cute. They're so fluffy. And you may notice other features too. Like for example, down here, we can see that there's a caption or a label. So this says King Chick. And we even see some cool questions and answers up here. There's a little joke. Let's see what else we can find. Ooh, lots of cool uh, facts with numbers all listed together. It's pretty interesting. And we can see that there's some captions here. So it's talking about which penguins are the fastest swimmers. Those are all important features of nonfiction. So I'm going to look for some other informational text features that could be interesting. Oh yeah, so over here, it's not labeled, but this is kind of a glossary. It's kind of unique because it's a picture glossary. And if you remember from class, we talked about glossaries before, which is just a section at the end of the book where it tells you some important words that would help you understand the things that are happening in the book or the things that are being described in the book. Like for example, it says barb, coast, colony, equator, marine mammal, webbed. If you didn't know what those words meant, you could go to the end of the book and read the definition right here in the glossary. Let me see, there was another feature I wanted to show you before 
I start filling out the chart. Oh yeah, here's here's a feature. So another thing you might see sometimes in nonfiction text is a pronunciation guide. So for example, over here, there's a tricky word. And if you're not how, sure how to say it, it kind of gives you some clues. So this is porpoising, porpoising. Oh, if there's a word that you've never seen before and you see something here in parentheses with hyphens, that's just showing you that each of these hyphenated sections is one syllable and when you put them together it's telling you how to pronounce this word. That's another thing that you'll often see in nonfiction text. All right, so I'm ready to fill out my chart. I have it open here in Seesaw. So first thing I need is the book title. Okay, let me check. Penguins! Exclamation point. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll type it because it'll, it'll be faster for me. Penguins. It's okay to write it too. The title is Penguins. And the topic, well, that was pretty obvious. In some books it's not, but in this one, I know that the topic was Penguins. I wonder if I have an emoji for Penguins. If I'm on a computer and I want to type an emoji, I can just use this and I can press Control Command Spacebar. If you're on a phone or an iPad, um, it's a lot easier, but let me check. Do I have penguins? Oh, yes, I have a penguin. And in fact, I'm going to make my penguin smaller. And I'm going to first do style, invisible. And then I'm going to duplicate it because it said penguins, plural. So I'm going to make more than one penguin. Let me make one more. Yeah. So my topic was penguins. So if I want to just write penguins or type penguins, that's totally fine too. Um, you could do either one. So I decided to use emojis because it was there. But drawing a picture is great as well. All right, so the main idea isn't the same as the topic. The main idea is what the book was mostly about, what the author was trying to get people to learn about the book. Like what was the overall message, which sometimes can be a little tricky to find out. So. Let me look back. And if I'm having trouble with the main idea, I can always start thinking of the key details first. We can talk about those and then we can come back to the main idea. So I'm going to look at the book again. Here it is. And I'm going to start going through the pages. Okay. So in this book, we learned what penguins are. And we learned that penguins are a type of special bird. Okay. So I'm going to put that down as one of my key details. So I could write that or I could draw that. For me right now, it might be easier to put a word. I'm going to put special, special, C-I-A-L, C-I-A-L, shul, shul, shul. And then when I'm going to talk about it, I'll just remember to use the word special in my sentence. If you want to write the whole sentence, that's super awesome too. But if you just want to write a key word and then tell us about it, that's totally fine as well. All right, so let me see. So penguins are a special kind of bird. And let me see what else. Ooh, they live in a specific place. That's a key detail. So where are they? They live, it looks like, in the southern hemisphere, south of the equator. And a lot of them live in the South Pole. Okay, I'm going to put that down as a key de detail too. Penguins live south of the equator, south of the equator. So I'll put that down as a key detail for now. And let me look through my book. I'm gonna look at those headers again. So we talked about where they are, not just any bird. Okay, so it talks about like, some of the features that they have. Ooh, stiff oily feathers. I didn't know they had oily feathers. That's an interesting fact. So I notice over here where it talks about chicks, it says that the parents, it looks like they have different jobs, like they take turns keeping baby penguin warm. That seems like it could possibly be a key detail. Okay, I'm going to put that down as a key detail. Um, let me see. Parents, parents take turns. And I don't have to write the whole thing if I'm going to explain it. It's right that right there. And what I notice right now is that... One of my key details of talking about how penguins are special, that could actually be a main idea. So if my topic is penguins, my main idea could be that penguins are a special kind of bird. And then my key details are explaining 
how they are special. So they're special because they live south of the equator. They're special because their parents take turns taking care of them. Penguins are also special because, and I'll find one more reason. That should work. Let me see. They can go on March as well. I'm going to choose. Oh, this is interesting. So they live in large colonies. A colony is like when they live in a huge group. Oh my goodness, look how many penguins there are there. Um, here's a key word yeah colony a group of animals who live together so that could even be a key detail that they live in colonies i'm going to use the word colonies colonies i'm going to put it right there and i could even just so i don't get confused i'm going to write live in colonies all right so that will help me talk about my key details when it's time yeah and that's definitely a special thing about penguins live in colonies south of the equator parents take turns perfect all right so then i just need to pick out my favorite fact from the book i really did think it was interesting that penguins have oily feathers so i'm going to put that down as my favorite fact penguins have oily feathers that was interesting and if it doesn't fit i can just resize it. i'm going to stretch it out and I'm, i'll just go like this to make it smaller Boop, here it is in the right spot and my opinion well i do think penguins are pretty cool and i did learn even more cool things so i'm going to write that down as my opinion i think and remember your opinion is what you think what you feel or what you like about a topic or even what you maybe don't like about a topic but i like penguins so i'm going to write i think penguins are amazing exclamation point i can make that fit and go in my box so i'm ready to talk about my answers and i'm done filling out my sheet